Introducing our next 2008 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Olin Halai. Accepting this award in Olin's place, former wrestler of Olin's, Mr. Steve Barner. Presenting the award to Steve is Olin's wife, Mrs. Maria Polite. Mrs. Polite has a few words to say to our committee members. Uh, we're going to switch this up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to speak first, and then Maria will. I'm Steve Varner. I wrestled for Olin from 1964 to 67. I coached with him from 73 to 76. In 1977, I was fortunate to have the driller program passed to me from Olin. Olin was my closest friend and mentor until his death in 1999. I'd like to thank the California Wrestling Hall of Fame on behalf of Olin's family and myself for this induction. Olin Plyte was born in Hill City, Kansas in 1939. Olin attended Boulder High School, served as a combat veteran of the Korean War, then went on to graduate from Colorado A&M. Olin and his family arrived in Arvin, California in 1957. He coached Arvin's first wrestling team in 1958 and also 1959. Olin then moved to Bakersfield High School to replace Paul Briggs, the driller's first wrestling coach. Olin continued to coach the drillers from 60 through 1976. As a driller head coach, Olin won numerous league titles. He coached 60 individual league champions, 23 central section master champions, 67 master place winners. That's averaging like four plus place winners a year at the Masters for 19 years straight. Olin section teams placed 15 times in the top 10 with 11 teams in the top four of the section. Olin's 1968 and 1972 teams, which are pre-state meet era teams, were selected by Cal High Sports as the California Team of the Year for those years. Olin had two teams with at least four Masters champions per team. Olin also coached the first Central Section Masters team to score over 100 points. Five of Olin's wrestlers also graduated from the Naval Academy, with one of them, Ben Welch, becoming Kern County's first NCAA Division I All-American in 1969. In 1970, Olin became the only Central Section Masters coach to win a championship finals protest. The match was between King of Madera and Tony Saros of BHS. It resulted in co-section title holders. Olin was also a California Coach of the Year. He was Coach of the Year for District 8, which is 13 states and he was subsequently nominated for National Coach of the Year. Olin was also published author in Amateur Wrestling News. He had been a member of the National Board of Advisors for Scholastic Wrestling News. Coach Plight was also a founding member of the Kern County Wrestling Association, the Coyote Club, and a director for the first Junior World Regional held in Bakersfield in 1968. In 1978, Olin was a team leader of an AAU cultural exchange team to Germany. This team had mem members such as Tim Vanney and Dennis Townsend from Menachee, Jesse Reyes Mellies from BHS, Scott Jones from Hanford, Jim Poteet and Billy Pierce from South Bakersfield, Al Gutierrez from Redwood, among others. Drew Williams from Menachee, Ray Jewell from West Bakersfield High, and myself had the privilege of coaching this team with Olin. By the way, that team defeated the German Junior National Champions in their last dual meet. Olin's influence has reached far and wide. One of Olin's 1960s wrestler, Al Doris, became the coach of the Poway Titans. Another ex-wrestler of the 60s, Sam Goldmeyer, went on to coach Victor Valley to a state championship. David East, a 72 driller, went on to bring the drillers a state championship in 2002. Jesse Reyes, who wrestled for Olin as a freshman in 1976, went on to become the head coach of Purdue University. Jesse became Kern County's first local NCAA Division I champion. Cal State Bakersfield for Joe C. Olin's influence also reached into USA Wrestling, as USA's Dr. Kenny Lane wrestled for Olin in the early 70s. In 1996, Olin was a Grand Marshal of the Pac-10s. Olin passed on while attending the, uh, the NCAA Championships in 1999. The Bakersfield High Wrestling Room was recently dedicated to Coach Polite in 2007. 
Olin built the Driller Wrestling Program into a state powerhouse. As wrestling exploded in California in the 1960s, so did the Driller Program under Olin's legendary practices and standards. The two words polite and drillers became synonymous with the very best in wrestling. Olin instilled the true meaning of hard work, dedication, discipline, and honesty in his wrestlers. These four principles not only served as athletes well beyond their wrestling careers, but they've also endured as the cornerstones of the Driller Wrestling Program today. With this all being said, I would like to present this honor to Olin's wife, Maria Polite. It, it was one of the blessings of my life to be married for the last 15 years of Olin's life. I'm so blessed to be a part of his family. These are um, four of his nine grandchildren. Um, they do play basketball, and <laughs> they're not wussy at all. <laughs> so I just want to thank the committee who voted this for Olin. Um, those of you who knew him know what a dedicated and loyal man he was. He was loved his family, he loved his country, and he loved wrestling and the wrestling community. I have been blessed to be a part of it, and I thank Steve so much for helping me tonight. I thank Mike Stricker for putting his name forward, and for all of you for uh, voting for him, and, and thank you very much.